Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. Uh, as you remember, when we started Hearts of Stone, I mentioned that uh, there's still a few quests that we need to do in the main game and that I would uh, sporadically add one of those in between. And today we're going to upgrade our wolf gear to uh, Master Crafted. So uh, the final two scavenger hunts. So uh, first up, the Steel Sword Diagram is uh, out there in the water there, that shipwreck you can see. Uh, that's where we need to be. I'm going to show you on the map. It's in the uh, southwest corner of the map. As you, I'm going to zoom out a bit. There we go. It's right over there. In the water at the end of this uh, little peninsula. To the south of Condyle. That was the closest marker I had. Might be that there's a, a few other markers in the neighborhood. But uh, I haven't found those yet. So uh, let's go out into the water. Oh, that was the wrong button. That was the wrong button. There we go. So let's see. There might be new marker spoils of war. Yeah, okay. You can see that. There might be enemies around here. Not that I see anything on the map. And there might be a bit of loot around here. Aside from uh, the diagram as well. So let's take a dive. There's a ship here. And it appears that there's... Something inside the boat. There's the chest. That's not what we were looking for though. There's something over here. That's the wolf mark. And I don't think we found it yet. Uh, I'm gonna go back up for a second. Might be in the, the hold of the ship. So let's surface. And I might... Uh, okay, ship. We're, uh, we're having company. We have company. Let's take out the crossbow. There we go. That was just in time. And then there's another one over there. And I'm first gonna surface and uh, use some uh, killer whale. To give myself a bit more time down there. I think it's this one. Yeah. Consume. There we go. So that should give us a bit more breath. Uh, can we go lower in this ship? Doesn't look like it immediately. Uh, we checked out that chest. Maybe there's a hole in the hull somewhere. Maybe we can use to get in. No, it doesn't look like it. There's the other drowner. There we go. Nope, I didn't shoot twice, but he did. Oh, look, there's a there's a hole. Uh, okay, now that we know the hole, I'm gonna first take a breath of fresh air and dive back down. Because this is tricky. It's probably somewhere over here. Yeah, there's two chests at the end of the ship here. That's not it, but I am finding a lot of superior oil diagrams. There's a chest underneath the stairs as well. Oh shit, I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. That looks like it is. Yeah, okay, there we go. The Wolven Steel Sword Mastercrafted. So let's quickly surface and uh, I'll see you guys at the location of the Silver Sword Diagram in a minute. So, uh... I lied a bit, because the chest armor upgrade diagram is actually closer, pretty close. So uh, I'm going to show you this on the map that's in these ruins here, leading up to an elven portal, clearly. So it's uh, east of Byways, which we, uh, where we went to uh, do that contract on that vampire, the Byways murders. And well, it's also in the southwest of the map, kind of. So uh, those are the ruins over there on the east side of Byways. So let's see, I think we passed through here a few times already and there were a lot of uh, raid. Although I don't really see any right now, so we might be able to just loot this chest here. The Mahakam Steel Sword and the Fiend Decoction, that's not what we needed. So maybe there's something going down? At the back of this building, maybe? Doesn't look like it, because the, the area is marked over here. That's mushrooms. It's not what we're looking for. Oh, there's a mark on the... Hmm. 
face of this statue. Yeah, look around some. Okay. So that's the mark. But where is the chest then? Because I'm not. Oh, Shep. I heard a wraith. I'm still looking for the chest though. Maybe in here? No. Oh, yeah, in here. Look at that. It's in the well to the, the left side of the shrine. There we go. Old Master Crafted Wolven Armor. And I don't really need to fight that thing, I suppose. So uh, I'll see you guys at the location of the Silver Sword upgrade diagram in a minute again. So I started out at the Nilfgaardian camp and I started heading west. I'll so show you the map in a minute. Uh, and I went through this swamp right now and we should be pretty close to uh, where the silver sword diagram is hidden and it looks this looks like the place so on the map it's pretty much in the middle between the house of respite near the Nilfgaardian army group and the uh, ancient oak so right there in the center of the well the swamp actually uh, it's also in the larger scope of uh, the Valen region it's in the, well, the southeast of the map. So let's see what we can find. Looks like it's down here, whatever this may be. I think I fought something here already once. Yeah, I think I fought a fiend here once and I left this sword here because I found it by accident in between recordings. So that's that. Uh, I'm gonna head into the second part, part, well, it's actually part six of the scavenger hunt for the wolven gear. And I'll see you at the next location in a minute. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, so for the next part, the trousers upgrade diagram, we need to head to Skellige. And I had the, uh, well, the marker for it on the map because of the maps I bought. And uh, therefore, we stranded right in the middle of a bandit camp. So uh, I'm gonna try. God damn it. I'm gonna try and take these guys out first. Hello. So that's two down, three down, ah there's the archer, I needed you, and then this guy is also dead, okay fine. So there's two more upstairs but I don't even know how to get there, let's see, is there a ladder of some sort? Doesn't look like it. Maybe I need to head inside. Ooh, these guys are carrying cash. Coin! And a ham sandwich. Always nice. Oh, okay, so never mind. Totally missed that thing. Uh, so two more bandits. I think one of them just dropped down. And he's an archer, so he can't really defend himself against getting cut in half. And now let's take out this guy. And he's not doing anything as well, so he lost his upper half as well. Let's see. A lot of nice crafting equipment, diamond dust, that's not really what we need. Maybe it's down here. There's a few more things. This guy is only carrying an axe head. Krasai and Dougal water. Superior elemental oil, which is also nice. And another diagram. The marker is over here, but that's probably for the sign. Yeah, there we go. Might want to look around some. Yes, indeed. We have been... Oh, look at that. It's probably that there over there. So let's get back up. Take a look around. And I need to probably jump over this. And be really, really careful. This doesn't look... Oh, no. No. Okay. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, never mind. So let's head back up, and I really need to be careful there, but the, the tree is kind of obstructing my view. So it's right over there. Okay, yeah, here it is. Wow, that's a tiny loot box. But, woven trousers. There we go. So uh, we're back in Skellig. I'm going to show you on the map because I kind of almost forgot. So we're in the northeastern island of Sforlog. And it's the old watchtower, uh, well, marker. 
waypoint, whatever you want to call it. So there we go. And now I'm going to head towards the boots upgrade diagram, so see you guys there in a minute. So we're back in uh, Unvig. This is the village where we found Hjalmar, I think, before we uh, went on to confront the ice giant. So this is also the place where we're going to find the boots upgrade diagram. Uh, I think it's right on the top here. Close to that tower, probably. And uh, I'm going to show you on the map as well. So if you remember Unvik, it was uh, on the southwest of the map, this big island. And we started out at the Dorve Ruins. And it's right over here on that in that tower, probably. This uh, lovely watchtower. Let's see, we probably need to head towards the front of it. And there should be a marker here. Yeah, there we go. Mm. Another woven sign. Some. And then let's see, it might be anywhere in this tower though. That's really nice of you. Geralt, can we get inside of this tower? Because it doesn't look like it's this way. Over here maybe. And no entrance to be seen, which is weird. I would suppose this thing has a door. Oh, never mind. It's uh, at the southern edge of the tower. There's the boots. And now onwards towards the gauntlet upgrade diagram. See you guys again in a minute. So I started out at the destroyed village of Boxholm. I think we did another contract there for uh, killing the fiend. I'm not really sure, but I think it is. And there's this uh, ominous watchtower. I think it's guarded by a forktail as well. Which might be an issue. Well, not for us, because we're pretty high level right now. Uh, and that's that, that thing, of course, is also very high level. So this looks like a nice clearing to fight this thing. Well, uh, I suppose you get down. Uh, I am going to use... No, you're not going to come down? Well, okay then. I'm going to check this place out a bit then. Hmm. I think we kind of found that during our... Uh, hmm. I want to look around some. During that contract as well. I'm first going to show you the map. Hello, Geralt. So, pretty much in the center of the map. If you know where Fairlund is, it's to the east of it or otherwise to the north of Boxholm. I think we fought that fiend here. Uh, from which we got the fiend or foe trophy. I want to take a look around. There's no entry, but there does seem to be a chest over there. So let's pull ourselves up. Careful to not jump over it. And then open this. Yeah, okay, so it's here. It's, uh, well, you kind of can see where I am. It's near this clearing on this wall next to the tower. Okay, so now that we have everything, I'm going to go towards... Um, I think I'm going to first pay a visit towards Joanna. Because we need the uh, master uh, armor and the master swordsmith for this. So we need to pay a visit to Joanna and... Um, what's the other name? The, the elf called... Well, that guy at least. So uh, see you guys there in a minute. So we're back at Crow's Perch. And we're going to have a little chat with Joanna to see if she can't build that uh, master crafted armor for us. Geralt, Hello, Joanna. What can I do for you? Well, uh, we have something really special to build, so uh, I need you to make me some armor. Need some armor made. Witcher's armor. Yes, indeed. So, um, as before, we need to check out if we can build everything. We can immediately build the Mastercrafted Wolven Boots, which is cool. There we go. What else do we have? Chest armor. So, Mastercrafted Wolven armor. We're missing three of those dimeridian plates. That's hefty. So three dimeridian plates. And then we have the gauntlets, the master crafted woven gauntlets. Missing dark steel, meteorite silver plate. Okay. And then we have the trousers. Maybe we can make those immediately. Yeah, we can. So that's nice. So we need a uh, meteorite silver plate, I think it was. So let's close trousers and let's close. Um, well, we don't need it, need to close that. So that's meteorite silver plate and then dimeridian plates as well. So let's see if we can't craft those in the 
the crafting components. Because we might have a few of those. So we have... Ooh, we have just enough ingredients to make three dimeridium plates. Which is great, because we're going to do that immediately. I think it costs a lot less than uh, having to buy those. And then we need to make a meteorite silver plate as well. Meteorite silver plate. We can't do that. We could make two meteorite silver ingots, which I'm going to do, and then create the plate like that. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm going to go to... Whoa. What the hell did it do? So let's close the components area and go to Master Crafted Wolven Armor. There we go. Done. And then, of course, we also have the Master Crafted Wolven Gauntlets over here. There we go. There we go. Look at that. It's still loading in. So now the spikes are uh, pointed. There's a lot more chainmail. That uh, metallic belt is also new, I think. So thank you, Joanna. Take care now. Look at that. It looks really, really fancy. I'm a real badass right now. I'm gonna also show you something new because this, since this is the first Mastercrafted set we have we can check out the bonuses that actually gives us. So uh, Witcher gear. Items, items must be upgraded to Grand Master level to unlock bonuses. Oh, and how do we do that? I think we need to do that in the uh, Blood and Wine DLC. So that will be something for in the future. But uh, that will allow us to uh, unlock additional perks if we carry more than uh, a few items of that set. So for the Wolven Gear, this is if we carry, we're wearing three items of that set. Up to three different oils can be applied at the sword at the same time. And then six adds, uh, gives us bombs are thrown without any delay. Um, I don't really like the bombs perk, so I might mix it up with uh, a different set of armor to uh, get a nice mix of both of them. But uh, that's the armor for now, so let's head towards Novigrad, towards our, uh, well, our Master Swordsmith. So see you guys there in a second. I know it's stupid, but I can't for the life of me remember his name, the name of the Swordsmith. Well, I guess we're gonna see in a second. I'm gonna say, oh yeah, of course. There he is. Doc. Hattori, that was it. God damn it. Greetings, I fear. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? So this is actually really cool because it now comes full circle. I bought the maps to start the scavenger hunts for the Wolven Gear from Hattori. And uh, well, now we're gonna let him Listen, craft the craft two swords. There we go. So let's close crafting components for a second and open silver swords first. Mastercraft Silver Sword, that's not what I'm looking for, but I am looking for the Wolven Silver Sword Mastercraft. And of course, now we need those Dimeridium ingots. That's stupid, but uh, let's see if we can't find the Steel Sword in here. A Wolven Steel Sword Mastercrafted, and for that we also need Dimeridium ingots, which we had before we uh, lost all that towards those plates. But let's see, might be able to build more. Dimeridium ingots, there we go. Because I need, ooh, that's, that's painful though. Glowing ore ingot we need. So we need four. So that's two, three, and what's this? Oh, never mind. I can make those like that as well. Uh, but the difference is that we need two Dimeridium ore to make an ingot or one ore and one glowing ore ingot, which is... Stupid, because I might have been able to use that for something else. But let's close the crafting components section and let's craft those two swords really quickly. So, Wolven Sword Master Crafted, Silver Sword Master Crafted, and then the Steel Sword. There we go, also Master Crafted. And I don't know if I lose my uh, effects on them, by the way. So long. Let's see. So those are the swords. They don't really look that much different. And I'm gonna, to end this episode, check it out really closely. Yeah, I actually lost my effects. That is stupid. But hey, 
So 10% uh, sign intensity, extra 10% adrenaline points, 10% critical chance, and 10% chance to cause bleeding, plus extra experience. And then at 20% extra experience from monsters to the silver sword, along with the same benefits of the steel sword. And then the armor, 20% adrenaline points, 70% piercing resistance, bludgeoning resistance, and slashing damage is a bit more, and 30% general resistance from monsters. Uh, a lot less resistances from uh, the gauntlets, of course, but another 10% sign intensity, 10% attack power from the boots, and 10% attack power and 10% sign intensity for the trousers, and a very nice 30% resistance to elemental damage, which uh, all in all gives for a very, very nice, well, armor set that covers all the bases. We have extra attack power and extra sign intensity, so that's really really nice so i'm gonna i think i can actually zoom in um i think it's like this yeah okay look at that so that's the armor from uh, top to bottom and we can even pan that look at that so that's the armor the complete master crafted armor uh thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the uh, episode hope you uh got something out of it that uh, will allow you to craft this armor for yourself. But uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel, because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thank you guys again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye.